how has this been how has this new experience been with us everyone pretty much being on lockdown you know right uh, I mean it seems like you've already kind of had you know built into just like your life um a type of rest and a type of you know disconnecting from the world so like now what does that look like for you with it not just being Saturday but for the most part you know right it's like right. a whole week where like you know, there's not a lot of movement going on. Right. So for me, it's been about putting my head down, um, keeping in contact with my team that would normally be in the studio with me, um, talking to them about what they're doing in their personal studios. Because once again, I work with other artists, so they're all working, man. Everybody's in a place where we understand that what we do with our time will will in this time, you know, it's about knowing what to do with your time. Like, it'll, it'll show afterwards. There's going to be a time where we'll, we'll end up, you know, coming out of this. But if you come out of this having not learned to be more prepared, um, then I think it's, it's a disadvantage. So for me, um, it's an opportunity to spend more time with family, lock in, um, you know, uh, hug, hug the wife, you know, just be with the kids and be with the family and to reestablish and reset the things that we believe in. You know what I mean? So, yeah. um, it's not, it's, I, I, the very first day things went down and everybody was rushing to the stores. Um, I refused to do that. Not because I, I, I wasn't trying to be smart about it, but yeah. I just, I have more faith that we would have another opportunity to get out there and, and get what we need. And it, it was the truth, you know? Um, I just think that at this time for me, it's been, me helping other people see where faith is necessary to live through this time. Because if you're, if you're not living by faith, it's hard to see outside of those walls, especially if you don't like the environment that you're in or you're used yeah. to sleeping that. If you're not used to working at home, right now is a tough time for you, you know? But for me, it's, it's been normal life um, for the most part. And just seeing an opportunity, I can, I can create anything I want to do right now, you know? So that's, what, that's a blessing right now. Nah, man, that's dope, man. Yeah, I know, like, I'm kind of in the same space, you know I mean? That's even how we got into the space of doing the study breaks, you know, the IG Live situation was, yeah. man, like, there's all this time where, you know, it's just, ain't nobody trying to to, to, to buy no product, right? Like, like the, no clothes is not a necessity, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, right. like, these things aren't a, a necessity right now, so it's like, man, how can we engage people in a way that's providing value for them that's not requiring them? To swipe right. their car to come up with their cash that they probably need to have for their family or for yeah just exactly. preparing for what the future may end up looking like you right know? so you know yeah. the fact that you know you you just touched on that i mean i think like that's like one of like the biggest takeaways i think everyone you know i i, I hope you know and pray that people are, are taking is that man we have so much opportunity right now to do everything that we said that we didn't have time to do really even if it's just, you know, cutting the lawn, you know what I mean? It's just get, getting those cobwebs out of your garage. Like, you got Man, like, I've it. been struggling with getting over to my mom's crib to cut her grass, you know what I'm saying, for a minute because my schedule is crazy. So now it's like, all right, bet, for the right. future, every, every, right. other, every other Thursday, I'm in there, you know what I'm saying, whacking it up. Right.